This video is going to cover some emergency wound care tips um, that hopefully should help you in the event of an emergency wound that you come across in one of your courses. Um, first thing I should mention is that the most important thing, even though it's a really uh, stressful time, uh, but the most important thing for you to do is not to panic. Uh, your horse can tell when you are nervous or anxious or worried, and, and so you need to do your best to try and stay calm. Um, there's a few things that you want to kind of assess before you put the call into the veterinarian, um, if you feel that you're going to need veterinary attention. Um, number one would probably be the amount of bleeding. Um, horses can lose a, a fair amount of blood before it comes, becomes critical, but definitely that's something that we're going to want to address and, and deal with and, and know how much blood they've lost. Um, we also are going to want to know whether or not the wound is still bleeding um, and uh, whether or not we need to do something to help get the blood to stop. So, um, so kind of get an idea of whether or not there's a significant amount of bleeding or if it looks like there has been a significant amount of bleeding. Um, the second thing that we'll often want to know is whether or not the wound uh, is able to be stitched. So wounds can really only be repaired um, within a short period of time, you know, 8 to 12 hours or so after they first happen. Uh, in order for the repair to be successful. So uh, the things that you want to look for is whether or not the wound appears fresh. So if it's still bleeding, chances are it's pretty fresh. Um, whether the uh, wound is contaminated with manure or hair or mud or anything like that, that's going to decrease the chance that we can close it successfully. Um, so those are a few things that you want to look at in terms of uh, helping us know whether or not we're going to be able to get that wound to close. Um, and then, uh, Equally as important um, as the first two things I mentioned is knowing the location of the wound. So um, if the wound is over an important structure such as the trachea or the tendons in the lower limbs or probably more importantly than that, one of the joints or the tendon sheets, um, that's something that we're going to want to know um, so that we can do the appropriate diagnostics and, and treat it aggressively if, if necessary. And uh, one of the last things that you're going to want to know about the wound is whether or not it seems like there's a foreign body present. So a foreign body would be anything like a stick or a nail or a piece of fence post or anything like that. Um, if there is a foreign body in the wound, most of the time we advise you to leave it there. Uh, but definitely don't touch it until you've talked to a veterinarian. Um, foreign bodies in, in the uh, body, like the neck or the, the limbs, can sometimes be stuck in some pretty important vessels, and so if we remove them, we actually cause that wound to bleed more. So sometimes we will advise you to leave it there. Um, and definitely another example of this would be when there's a nail in the bottom of the foot. Um, our first gut instinct is always to pull that nail up because it's going to make the horse feel better. Um, but a lot of the times having that nail there when the veterinarian gets there can be really helpful uh, for them to assess the severity of the wound. Um, so oftentimes we'll take a radiograph with that foreign body with the nail in place uh, to see where exactly it goes, which can help guide our treatment decisions. So, um, so those are a few of the, the quick assessments that you want to take before you call your veterinarian. Um, check for bleeding, check where the wound is, how old it is, um, and whether or not there's anything stuck in it. Uh, and then you can stay tuned for some of our future videos on what you should be putting in the wound and uh, whether you should be bandaging it and, and how to bandage it.